if you have been on TikTok like I have been, you have probably seen all the new items that Dollar Tree has been putting out in the beauty. So let's see what's new. So first, catching my eye, I've never seen this before. This is gorgeous. This is a chic eye mask for chic naps, rest, meditation, and more by the brand Georgia Lane. This is so cute, and y'all, this feels really nice and cushy. This is the only color that I'm seeing. And this location I'm at is located on 71st and Benford in Indianapolis, Indiana. They'll stock in these infused scalp massagers from a B Pier. If you remember, these were part of B Pier's spring mother's day collection earlier this year they come in two different scents they have the lavender infused as well as the rose infused brand able bath and shower has their shampoo brushes and the shampoo brush i use i did get it here at dollar tree it's not this one so i think i'm gonna give this one a try because i like the bristles on this one the one that i use you guys have probably seen it here at dollar tree it's a simple small black one let's see if there are any new loofahs I've never seen this one before. Oh, look how cute this one is. I think this is a little fox and they have a little cat. Some more new loofahs down here with this giant rainbow. Now these confuse me. I'm not quite sure what you're supposed to be cleaning with this. Is this for a child or is this for an adult? Cause it has the dual ended loofahs and then the sponge in the middle. I feel like this is just big for no reason. I don't understand this. I haven't seen anything like this before. This is a handheld loofah. Oh, no, this is kind of cool. And they have a great amount of stock of B. Pierce peppermint infused bath sponges and moisturizing gloves. We seen these a few months ago. I meant to grab me some. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I might have hit my budget for that day. So I'm definitely going to get me some today. And how cute is this spa headband with a pineapple on it? This is too cute. This is the only one that I see. More bath sponges in different colors. I really like these. Hold on now, let's look at this one. Oh, Y'all check these ones out. They have the little massages on the end. So not only can you wash your body with the loofah side, you can even do a little bit of scrubbing and massaging with the bottom part. I see it in these three shades. I have the green, the pink, and the blue. Another scalp massager. This one's quite cute. I'm not quite sure what's going on with all these scalp massagers, why they're so popular and trendy right now. I'm not mad at it because I love a good scalp massager. And this location has a lot of extra cares take on Vaseline's body balm. This body balm comes in the original formula as well as the cocoa butter formula, which is the one that I have. I've been seeing more and more of Spa Luxury's body washes and body lotions. You guys remember earlier this year, we saw a lot of stock of this. So I feel like now that since we're getting later into the year, they're bringing out this stock again. This product comes in four total scents and this location has the cherry blossom and the everlasting love. And in my opinion, this cherry blossom smells very similar to Bath & Body Works Cherry Blossom, but not an exact dupe. If you're looking for an exact dupe of Bath & Body Works Cherry Blossom Audiology brand at Walmart, that Cherry Blossom, in my opinion, is an exact dupe for Bath & Body Works Cherry Blossom. And if you're into tanning like I am, the Personal Care brand has this dark tanning oil with exotic oils and a, a tropical fragrance. Y'all, I might give this a try. I'm pretty sure I've shared with you guys that I'm into tanning so I can be one skin tone because not only does exfoliating help me help my skin remain a good even tone, tanning helps it maintain a good even tone as well. I love to tan. So I think I'm going to give this tanning oil a try. I've never tried a tanning oil before. So I'm curious to see what this might do for my melanin. If you're melanated as well and you've used the tanning oil, let me know down in the comments what your results have been. Oh, she still has out these body mists from Yardley London. I do officially have all three of these now. They come in three different scents. Comes in the Summer Breeze, the English Rose, as well as the English Lavender. And I love them all. Of course, you guys know my favorite is the English lavender from the brand beginnings by hask i've actually been seeing this product around i've just never looked into it these are their hair masks they have two different types in the yellow packaging they have the repairing argan oil and in the blue they have the nourishing coconut oil let's check out the ingredients from the argan oil to see exactly what it's all about so this product is supposed to deeply moisturize our hair with high absorbing and split in repairing qualities and leave even the most damaged hair feeling soft smooth and nourished that sounds pretty good to me let's see where argan oil falls in the ingredients to determine if we're going to try this out but if you can see argan oil is about the fifth or sixth ingredient here which is not bad 
And then let's just scan to make sure there's no mineral oil in here. Because for whatever reason, I don't know why brands are putting mineral oil in hair care products. If you weren't aware, a mineral oil is essentially baby oil. And baby oil, in my experience, does not get absorbed well. So because of that, I typically pass on anything that has mineral oil in it. I've seen these before from the brand Personal Care, but I think I'm going to grab these to go along with that tanning oil from them. This is Personal Care Soothing After Sun Talet with aloe vera and vitamin E. This product is made with plant-based and ingredients and contains antioxidants that sounds lovely and if you guys can see in the ingredients right at the top the second ingredient is aloe vera and the third ingredient and the fourth ingredient is glycerin so this is definitely going to be hydrating to the skin so if you're someone who burns easily this will be great for you to use i'm going to use it in conjunction with the tanning oil because you know after you spend a lot of time out in the sun your skin can get dehydrated so i'm thinking that this might help rehydrate my skin let me know down in the comments if you've tried this product and had any good experience with it. And there's still a Stocking Global Beauty Care Smooth and Lift collection. I was recently on TikTok the other day, y'all, and I saw that Global Beauty Care has out so many new products. I'm really hoping that we find them, that I'm definitely on a hunt for those. Back to the Smooth and Lift line. I have every product in this line, in my opinion. I really like it. You guys know I can be hit or miss with Global Beauty Care. It's really the products that are in like white and silver packaging. I really don't care for those, but they're more specialized products and their wipes. I am definitely a big fan of. Let's see what is new over here for the Bath and Body. Right off top, I'm seeing a new scent from Yves Saint Clair. This is their Jasmine Dragon Fruit Scented Moisturizing Body Wash. This brand also has two other scents. They have the Pineapple Papaya as well as the Coconut Shea Butter. And both of these products here also have corresponding shampoos and conditioners. That makes me wonder if they also have a shampoo and conditioner with the same scent of Jasmine and Dragon Fruit. Here is another product that I have been looking for. The brand Personal Care has given us new scents in their body wash. I have seen on other people's channels, there's three total scents. They have a pumpkin spice, a sugar cookie, sea salt and cedar. And this location has the sugar cookie and the sea salt and cedar. And I did smell them both, y'all. They smell delicious. My favorite is the sugar cookie. It definitely smells like a sugar cookie in my opinion. So I'm definitely gonna grab both of these. If you have yet to try Personal Care Body Wash, in addition to these, their newer scents, they also have the jelly bean, the peach rings, and the coconut vanilla scent. I have been using the coconut vanilla and I love it a lot. I really love the scent, but I will say that the scent fades. As soon as you get out the shower and dry off, the scent is gone. But while you're in the shower using it, the scent is nice and relaxing. And I just reviewed the ingredients to compare them to the ingredients of their other three scent body washes that they have. And they are exactly the same. And let's see if there's any new bar soaps. Currently, my bar soap obsession are these from the brand Natural Scents. These are their Pure Castile soaps. I love these. I stock up on these every time I see them. You guys know I was previously using Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile soaps that are $5 a bar compared to these being $1.25 a bar. And if you checked out my most recent Dollar Tree haul, I gave you guys a cute little review on these. Essentially, this soap compared to Dr. Bronner's, the main difference that I noticed is with the lather. Dr. Bronner's gives you more of, I said, the foamy lather compared to this one. It's more like a smooth, you can see the soap on your body. And I think it's because of the olive oil. We all know that oil and water do not mix. So when you try to force them together, you're gonna get like smooth, like soapy film compared to like a sudsy lather. And this soap comes in four total scents. We get the almond, peppermint, lavender, and the activated charcoal. The only one I don't have is the activated charcoal. I've talked to you guys before about me and activate charcoal. I like it for internal use, so like, you know, taking it orally to like move toxins from the body. But when it comes to like beauty products, unless it's Biore, you guys know I love Biore's charcoal line. I don't really find a use for using charcoal. So I am going to pick this one up and try it and see how like, it compares to the other three that I have. On the hair care, last time we were here, I did notice that they added a several new products to the hair care line from the brand ps clean beauty and this location seems to have a good amount of products from that brand so first is ps clean beauty's gentle shampoo i believe this is the first product that we ran into from them when we saw them last week we ran into a product from them that was from curly hair they have the gentle shampoo as well as the volumizing shampoo and if you haven't used any products from the spring yet i did check them out on the yuka app and they are rated excellent so they are definitely 
truly a clean beauty brand like they're claiming to be. So in addition to the volumizing shampoo, they also have the matching volumizing conditioner. And then for us curly girls, they have their ultra hydrating shampoo, the ultra hydrating conditioner, and they also have a leave-in conditioner. We didn't see this one last time we were here. I'm definitely into leave-in conditioners. So let's check out the ingredients on this and see what this one's all about. All right, so if you can see, the fourth ingredient is glycerin that's gonna hydrate. The fifth ingredient is argan oil. If you have curly texture, coily hair, argan oil should be your friend, but then you see right after the argan oil is coconut oil. Now I know for my hair personally, my hair does not get down with coconut oil, but your hair might be different. So if you've tried this leave-in conditioner, let me know down in the comments how your hair has liked it. And if you have been watching any of my most recent Dollar Tree shot with me, you've been seeing me hype up vo 5s hair care products. If you have never tried a VO5 hair care product, you definitely should. They have a lot of great ones. My favorite ones are the Extra Body as well as the Clarifying Shampoo. So you want to be using a clarifying shampoo in your hair. If you are noticing that your hair isn't getting as clean, like you're getting a lot of product build up and your hair is just not acting the way that it should act after it's been freshly washed, clarifying shampoo should help get out all that extra build up and product and dirt and oil that is backed up in your hair especially if you're a wig weave wearer like I am. A lot of times we put our wigs and weaves through a lot and don't realize that we're not getting them as clean as we should be because we think since it is not natural hair that we just have to keep hydrating, which is true, but also from every now and then we do need to wash it with clarifying shampoo to get out all that product buildup that we put in it. And this one here, the extra body is for my girls with thin, fine hair. If you have thin or fine hair like I do, the VO5 Extra Body Volumizing Shampoo is your best friend. You will literally have so much volume that your hair will not be able to fit in your car. Now, this is what I was using before I started wearing wigs and weaves. When I used to wear my natural hair out, I used the VO5 Extra Body as well as Tresme Mousse and Hairsprays. And there's still stocking shampoos and conditioners from Soap Spa. Soap Spa has given us three different ingredients. They're giving us the olive oil, the argan oil, as well as the cocoa butter. And when we ran into this a couple of weeks ago, we did check out the ingredients and in my opinion the ingredients look pretty decent i did grab the moroccan oil to compare it to my suave moroccan oil that i use i haven't used it yet but it is on my to-do list and if you're someone who likes to match your body washes and shampoo scent the brand ink set claire has some great options so we've seen this one before this is ink scent claire's coconut shea butter scented extra volume shampoo and conditioner and they also have the pineapple papaya extra volume shampoo and conditioner these would be great as well for thin, for my thin, fine hair girlies. So if you don't really care for the VL5, you tried it and it didn't work, give this one a try and let me know down in the comments how, the, how it works for you. But back to what I was saying about matching your scents. So Eve St. Clair not only has the volumizing shampoo and conditioner, they also have a moisturizing body wash in the scent pineapple papaya and coconut and shea butter scented so you can match your scents together. Let's see what's going on over here in the skin care i'm seeing some new things and i'm also on a hunt for the new serums from the brand skin nutrient botanicals i have not seen them on other people's youtube channels but i have seen them on people's tiktok channels so i'm definitely on the hunt for them hopefully i find them soon they're still stocking this facial mask from the brand urban hydration which i can't remember what store it was that we ran into this product i think it was walmart if you remember in the comments let me know I have this mask. I've used it three or four times. I really like it. When I remove it, I definitely notice that my skin has a glow to it. So it's definitely hydrating. This is a newer brand to Dollar Tree, the brand Kissable. This is the Fresh Start Facial Cleanser by Exfoliating Facial Beads. And most recently, they gave us this one. This is their Charcoal Acne Cleanser. I did grab this one to compare it to some of my Biore products. Like I mentioned to you guys before, when it comes to charcoal, I'm hit or miss. But I love all the charcoal products from Biore. Right? Let me know that in the comments if you've tried this product and what you think about it. Do you feel like it's been helping clear your acne? Because according to the active ingredients, it only has 1% salicylic acid. And according to some dermatologists on WebMD, we need at least 2% of the active ingredient to get results. Now that I've been paying more attention to the percentage of the active ingredient, I do notice there is a difference when I'm using a product that has a higher percentage compared to a lower percentage of the active ingredient. 
And that same brand also has their acne wash that's oil-free with the silk acid acne treatment. And this one has 2% silk acid. So because of what we just talked about, this should definitely help fight acne. I have to have more stock of Global Beauty Care's cleansing wipes. These are the cleansing wipes that come in the three different scents. And the blue is the violet and bergamot. The pink is carnation and vanilla. And the yellow is sunflower and honey. I don't know why I haven't grabbed any of these yet. And now that I'm looking at some of the ingredients, these look fabulous. So for the violet and bergamot, we have the hydrogen serum, hyaluronic acid, vitamin A, C, and E. The carnation and vanilla is the firming cleansing gloss with collagen and vitamin A, C, and E. And the sunflower and honey is brightening serum with niacinamide with vitamins A, C, and E. I don't know which one I want to grab. They all sound lovely. I think I'm going to try the sunflower and honey with the niacinamide and vitamin A, C, and E. Let's look at the ingredients and see exactly where niacinamide falls in here. If you've tried either one of these, let me know down in the comments what you think about them. In the previous video, I was talking to you guys about when we're using products like this that say that they have an active ingredient in them, we are not supposed to be washing our faces after. So this is something that I would use after I'm done washing my face and I'm getting ready to put serums on my face so that I can keep that active ingredient on my skin. Do you see nice in my right? smack dab in the middle of the ingredients and i also see sunflower seed oil so that definitely is gonna help add in hydrating and brightening my skin so i'm gonna pick these up these cleansing masks also have corresponding sheet masks this location only has this one left the carnation and vanilla firming sheet mask i if now that i'm thinking about y'all i think i've got one of these masks i need to check my skincare drawer to see if one of them is hiding in there so i can give it a try and these are some of the other cleansing wipes that this location has. We have seen these before. Most of these are from Global Beauty Care. We have their cleansing wipes that are, have different formulations. We have the retinol, the charcoal, the collagen, and their sensitive skin and makeup remover towelettes. We also have these from Rich Radiance, which is a brand that is designed for individuals with melanated skin. These are their cocoa butter cleansing wipes to remove dirt, oil, and makeup. I did grab these, I just haven't used them yet. They're in my rotation. If you have these and you've used them, let me know what you think about them. I have been using this brand's facial cleanser at night when I wash off my makeup, and I like it. And look at all this fabulous stock of Dermasol Labs Glycolic Acid Toning Solution. Y'all, I love this toning solution. When we ran into the last time I told you guys I have been putting mine in a spray bottle and spraying it on my face. You've tried this toner solution, and you've also tried the ordinary glycolic toning solution let me know down in the comments if you feel like these are comparable i was using the ordinary's glycolic toning solution for about two years and in my opinion these work very similarly and i also feel like this one kind of works a little better because of the rose water if you didn't know rose water helps even tone skin so if you're someone who deals with uh, post acne marks using glycolic acid and rose water as well as witch hazel will help with those post acne marks few cleansing wipes from the brand Carry, and now now that I think about it these are the only cleansing wipes I've ever seen from this brand because I have both of them we have the nourishing with aloe vera and we have the glowing with vitamin c let me know down in the comments if you've tried either one of these and what you think about them and back to global beauty care these are the products I'm talking about when I say that sometimes global beauty care's products can be hit or miss their products that are in the silver packaging in my experience are a miss I don't know what the formulation is, is in here or what is going on but these don't hit like their newer products that global beauty care has been giving us and i'm still on the hunt for global beauty care's dupes of the bubble brand i don't know if you guys have seen them in your stores or seen them on other people's channels but if you've seen them and, and tried them let me know down in the comments if they're even worth me buying and this is one of my favorite most recent displays that Dollar Tree has been putting out by the brand Lash Splash Cosmetics. In this brand, we have all these fabulous facial masks. I have tried the Cherry Blossom, which is Cherry Blossom Extract and Hyaluronic Acid, as well as the Vitamin C, which is Vitamin C and Hyaluronic Acid. All the masks are formulated with Hyaluronic Acid plus a different extract. So depending on what it is that you're looking for, so if you're looking for some calming, the lavender would be good for you. It's lavender oil and Hyaluronic Acid. If you're looking for more relief you want to do this Nutella if you like shea butter they have the shea butter plus hyaluronic acid this is another product that I have been looking for this is an eight pack of beauty razors and when I compare these in shape and design to the eyebrow razors that I be that I'm currently using from Timu these are less curved in my opinion than a traditional eyebrow razor 
And I also love that we get eight of them for $1.25. That is such a great deal in my opinion. And check out how cute these are from the brand, Brand Beauty Collection. These are little eggs with different shaped beauty blenders. So we have dome shaped beauty blenders. We have the traditional shaped beauty blenders and we have a variety of colors. So these would be definitely great to travel with and to store your beauty blenders to help keep them clean. And look how cute this makeup brush holder is. This is so adorable. It has three different compartments for face, eyes, and lips. It comes in this pink shade as well as this black shade. More beauty blenders. Now, last time we were here, we did run across some beauty blenders by this brand before, Girl Boss Blend. It wasn't these beauty blenders we've seen. So in this pack, we get two beauty blenders that are traditionally shaped, and then we get a beauty blender that has that, that flat surface to it. Let me know if you've tried these beauty blenders from this brand, girl boss blend and what you think i don't really use beauty blenders like that i'm more of a sponge girl but dollar tree has been coming out with so many beauty sponges like beauty blenders everywhere i have been tempted to grab me some and these are also some of dollar tree's newest beauty blenders when we were shopping at dollar tree last time we didn't run into these color options so the bottom one has a black a tan and a light pink the, the top one has a turquoise a peach and a darker red and I love that we get all three in a cute little case for only $1.25. That is a great deal. I just found another product from the same brand that is giving us this eight-pack of Dermal Blazers. They also have this six-pack of bikini body shavers. You can see there is a difference between the shape of the blades. This six-pack bikini body shavers, in my opinion, looks just like the shape of eyebrow razors compared to the shape of these derma planning razors. It, it looks longer, less curved found those beauty blenders in another three pack color option so it looks like total there are four different color options here is a new product from global beauty care this is their lip oil in the scent juicy watermelon i did see a review on this and the lady said it was too sticky i personally have not experienced a sticky lip gloss i guess i just don't know what it means to have a sticky lip gloss so because of that i'm gonna pick this up to see if i like it 